This is Twit. Some feedback from our listeners. Uh, Mark Simo said, just visiting X <laughs> to contact you. Regard- oh, and he's Mark Simo slash at Marcos at twit.social, by the way. Yeah, a good so- <laughs> Mastodon user. Yeah. <laughs> So he said, regarding pass keys and their lack of easy exportability, QR codes, etc., have you ever thought that those exact features would make pass keys vulnerable for phishing and other social engineering attacks? They're hidden from normal users for a very good reason. Someone should now figure out what could be a phishing-resistant way to move them across ecosystems. Or... We could all start using Squirrel. Well, because <laughs> you solved this already. I did. Uh, so yeah. I completely agree with Marco's observation. It is definitely a double edged sword to make the pass keys less mysterious. Um, and I have to say that, Leo, your comment about the, like, the lackluster success, uh, to put it, well, to phrase it oddly, of pass keys heartened me a little bit. I've actually, you know, uh, uh, you know, not because I don't want the world to have a public key based network authentication system, but because the reason my squirrel system has gone nowhere wasn't just me. You know, of course, that is the reason it's never going to go anywhere. But at least pass keys hasn't yet taken the world by storm, you know, or, you know, or if it had, I would have at least expected a little bit more from squirrel, you know, and, and I use the word yet, you know, hasn't yet taken the world by storm since I really do fully expect that this FIDO2 based pass keys public key system will someday supplant the use of secret passwords, but Probably not in my lifetime. Seriously, <laughs> not in my lifetime. All okay. of the evidence suggests, and I'm feeling great right now, so I'm planning yeah. to be around I, for a while. You know, All if it the doesn't evidence, take off in the next 10 years, it's going to be something else, don't you think? You think it's going to uh, be around? Th- no, I, I think they did it right. I, I, I think, and my God... It's, if it takes ten years to get this thing going, we don't we're not we don't have another ten years to 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 go for Plan B. So you know, seriously, all the evidence suggests that implementing this sort of sweeping change really will be that slow. But you know, the reason I I took all I put all that time in a squirrel was was I said, well, no no one had done it, and if no one does, then it's never going to happen. Well. You know, my system's never going to happen anyway, but at least a public key system option now exists. And the problem is it just from the user standpoint, there's nothing that's obviously better about it. As you said, Leo, I mean, we already have password managers. This problem has been solved. You know, it's not solved well. But, you know, we're and we're kind of limping along with a few arrows in our back. Some of us. But it's at least it's, you know. It's obvious how it works. Yeah, so, everybody's already gone the extra mile to get that working. Yep. And if they have it, that's even going to be harder to get them to switch over because they're yeah. just entering their pet's name and their birthday <laughs> on every site. <laughs> and they say, well, what's wrong? You know, there's no pro- they don't see a problem. So right. what are you fixing? Yeah. So so M- M- Michael Mol- uh, Moliny, uh, he, he tweeted, aren't pass keys meant to be a device verification like SSH keys. While you could copy them between devices, best security is to generate them on the device you need to authorize. So if that device gets stolen or hacked, you can revoke the key for that device. Also, if the device is hacked, logs are way more useful if it shows Paul's iPhone rather than Paul's key. And then he has to redo every passkey device. He said, aside from backups, I hope pass keys stay non-transferable. When you put your PIN or fingerprint in your phone, you're basically unlocking all the sites this pass key has access to. Same as when you sign into your PC with your password that has all your SSH keys. Okay, so that's true. And I think it's a good point. You know, this would be roughly equivalent to having multiple separate username password pairs 
for logging into one's bank account mm -hmm. with a different username password pair stored in each device. Then, if a device was compromised, the usernames and passwords that were being used by the compromised device could be independently disavowed and disabled. Now, <laughs> while that's good in theory, that really raises the level of management <laughs> complexity yeah. to a whole new level. You know, yes, there's a lot of power in that approach, but also a huge amount of responsibility for keeping track of who's on first. And, you know, okay, yes, a, a crazy power user could do it. But, you know, we can't even get anybody to use a passkey, let alone, you know, m you know ma ma manage them all separately. Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. ACI Learning's 80% completion rate is 50% higher than the training industry average. Invest in your team with the best training they're sure to love. Twit listeners can receive up to 65% off an IT Pro Enterprise Solution Plan. Based on your team's size, you'll receive a properly quoted discount tailored to your needs.